Well, hello there, viewer. It's nice to see that you survived the zombie apocalypse. We are currently talking at 8.34 p.m. It is the 21st. It's looking good. No sign of zombies. You might be wondering why I have a fire cape instead of the Tazar call, and let me explain to you guys. In the fight kiln, you know those armored little creatures that you gotta use the pickaxe to take their armor off? Yeah, those little buggers. Well, basically, before the EOC, I would just use a steel titan to kill those, and after the EOC, it doesn't look like they do too much damage, like it's not even worth using them on them. So you gotta go with the dragon pickaxe, and that's what I ended up doing. And it literally was taking 20 to 30 hits each time to get their armor down, and I got to that wave where there's like 10 of them and what happened is I basically just ran out of food so I settled for the fire cape and here I am now at Bandos um, I would say it was a successful trip although I didn't exactly get any good drops yet unfortunately there's definitely a different strategy to killing Bandos now you don't even pray melee what you do is you camp soul split and you get all of the little minis clustered up along with the Bandos Grardar and what this does is when you use Hurricane and these abilities that hit multiple targets, it just heals you up and that's really all you need. This was my first time visiting God Wars, I decided to go to Bandos, paying my respects to one of my favorite bosses. Definitely Bandos, I think, it's safe to say. If this looks interesting, just note that you don't need Torva to go to Bandos in solo, you can go with Full Void basically no defense bonuses and do the same exact thing that I'm doing in this video. With this strategy though, you're definitely going to want to go with a two-handed weapon like a Chaotic Maul, maybe a God Sword, something like that so you can use those two-handed abilities. Um, Hurricane and Quake, I believe those are the two that uh, you're going to get most of your HP back while soul splitting. I've also found that's pretty helpful and fun at the same time to use the ability Berserk. You'll uh, be surprised at some of these hits that you can pull off and how fast Bandos actually dies while using that ability. It's pretty much like beast mode and by the time you build your adrenaline back up you should be able to get a assault in while still on the berserk and it just works out pretty good. You get a fast kill as long as they're hidden decent. Here we go, let's try out the berserk, see what we can do with this. Oh, unleash the power within. I am now the demon that is going to slaughter this Bandos beast. Oh, look at these juice. On a more serious note, before I wrap this up, I wanted to let you guys know that I am making videos over on the Spark Mac official channel. If you guys are interested, definitely go and check it out. I don't think I've actually addressed that I've made that channel yet. So if you guys haven't heard about it, go and check it out. Give me a chance for sure. Give me a shot over there. I've decided that it probably would be best to separate those type of videos like Minecraft, Black Ops, Halo, whatever other games I feel like playing and throwing up on that channel. Separate from RuneScape, I think that would be a safe thing to do because a lot of you guys subscribed to me for RuneScape and I respect that. So what you're going to be seeing on this channel is strictly RuneScape content. And if you want more, Tim, more commentary epicness, go and subscribe to the Spark Mac official channel. I'll definitely be waiting for you over there. I'll wrap this video up with a quick story of what happened to me at Bandos as I was finishing up my trip. It is quite depressing, but basically I disconnected, my RuneScape client closed as well, and uh, I did end up dying, so my gravestone was there, I had about 10 minutes to get back here to get my stuff. So here I am frantically running back to Bandos, trying to get that kill count before the 10 minutes is up and my gravestone collapses, and surprisingly enough I got about 36 kill count in about 10 minutes. I was going ham guys, I I need to get back in there to get my Chaotic Maul. So my gravestone collapses at about 36 minutes, shortly after maybe a one minute later I was able to get 40 kill count, I run rushing myself back in there hoping that my stuff is still there, and what do you know, there's a level 190 in there, looting up my stuff, and I was like, I DC'd with a sad face, and then all he says is, bye and tellies. I could care less about what I lost, but it's like, what the fuck, why do you gotta be a dick about it? He could have easily said, I, you know, man, I need this money, I, I was lucky enough to find your gravestone here, I jacked your stuff, I didn't really want to bless you because I, I needed that money, I was hoping for something good. Fair enough, I'd understand, but the fact that he's just a dickhead, is just, oh my god, I don't even want to think about it. I lost my Kayak Mall too, so, great adventure at Bandos today. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more PVM because of the fact that PKing is dead and it doesn't look like Jagus is going to be doing anything to that anytime soon. So until then, if anything ever does happen, we're going to be killing some monsters. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Seriously, guys, go over and show me some support on the Spark Mag official channel. I'd really appreciate it.